Hello? Hey guys! Hello? Hey! Wait, sorry, what? I have a question. How often do you wear your Bluetooth headphones? Oh, all the time. Yeah, it's, it's all yeah. the time. I need to hear my TikToks. <laughs> hey Tara. One second. Yes? How often would you say you wear your headphones? Alyssa, I wear these all the time. I wear them in bed. I sleep with them. They never come out of my ears. Okay. Oh, I'd definitely be surprised. Um, a lot of people are wearing them, and you'd think that a lot of testing, long-term testing has gone into this technology. And uh, yeah, it's scary if that's the case. I would certainly stop wearing them. Hi there. I am a neurosurgeon at Mayo Clinic who specializes in acoustic neuromas, a form of brain tumor that develops on the nerve that connects the ear to the brain. The incidence of acoustic neuromas is low, only about 2,500 new cases per year. However, we do not know what causes these tumors. In an attempt to try to understand the cause of acoustic neuromas, our clinic, as well as four other centers across the United States, are urging our patients to participate in a study. This is a case control study where we are looking for an association between the use of Bluetooth headset devices and the formation of acoustic neuromas. Hi, my name is Alyssa Jerome and I am the researcher who has designed this study. As you have heard, Bluetooth devices are very common, which is why I've decided to study them. My hypothesis is that these devices, because of the large amount of radiation that they emit to the head area because of their lengthy use, and because of how common they are, may be the cause of acoustic neuromas. We are attempting to have 230 participant cases and 690 controls who will be matched based on age, race, and sex. We are aiming to find an odds ratio of 1.5. The anticipated total cost of this study is just over $300,000. Hopefully this research will be able to help us learn more about the development of these tumors, not only to help us recognize them, but to help us prevent them in the future.